A nonprofit that distributes meals to over 700 kids a week in the River Valley shut its doors today after a volunteer tested positive for COVID-19. And THV 11's Mercedes McKay shows us the steps staff and volunteers are taking to ensure the virus doesn't continue to spread. It's unfortunate. I hate it. I hate it for our clients that depend on this food on a week to week basis. I hate it for them. Josh Dunbar describes the last 24 hours as being stuck between a rock and a hard place. If we had continued uh, and potentially given this virus to clients unknowingly, I, I we wouldn't exist at all. As the executive director of River Valley for Kids in Russellville, Dunbar had to make the difficult decision to halt operations after learning a volunteer who showed no symptoms tested positive for COVID-19. As far as like the necessary steps to limit exposure, those were already in place. Steps like turning their food distribution into a drive through and requiring volunteers to wear masks, gloves and remain socially distanced. We have a record of who enters our building, what day they entered our building um, so that if a situation like this one arises, I have an exact list of who I need to contact um, that needs to go get tested. That list included four other volunteers and two staff members, including Dunbar, who went to get tested Tuesday while their building got a deep clean. Everything that we're doing at this point is just like a precaution to make sure that we don't cause the virus to spread. The Department of Health tells THV 11 all safety protocols were properly followed and there's still no word when they can reopen to the community. As for the clients who rely on them, Dunbar encourages tapping in to other resources. We're out of commission for the time being, but there is no excuse for anybody in the River Valley area to ever go hungry. In Little Rock, Mercedes McKay, THV 11 News.